Hi, thanks for joining us. This segment of the Walker Emissions Control Series will cover step six of the proper diagnosis of vehicle emissions problems. Our tutor for this step will be Patty Feck of the Tenneco and Walker Emissions Sales Team. Patty, step six is to check for proper operation of the vehicle's oxygen sensors. What can you tell us about this? Well, Deneen, the O2 sensors provide continuous monitoring of the vehicle's exhaust gases both in front and behind the catalytic converter. A sensor that's sluggish or giving false readings might cause the engine controls to overcompensate through changes to the fuel trim and other variables. This can affect drivability characteristics, performance and fuel economy, and it can also lead to conditions that damage the catalytic converter. Here's how typical O2 sensors work. When there's a lack of oxygen within the exhaust stream, they produce an electrical signal which is transmitted to the engine management system. If the fuel trim is too rich, the signal could be around 0.85 volts. If the trim is too lean, the signal could be around 0.2 volts. The fuel management system works with the O2 sensor to consistently switch the fuel trim back and forth from lean to rich. These rapid changes prevent the system from remaining lean or rich for any extended length of time, which significantly reduces emissions. This is why it is important to test both the output and the switch frequency of the O2 sensor. Oxygen sensors have a finite life cycle, and in time, they lose their ability to quickly produce voltage. They also can become contaminated by the presence of oil and or coolant in the exhaust stream. Most late model vehicles have sophisticated onboard diagnostics to detect a failed O2 sensor. You can also test sensors with equipment ranging from a voltmeter to complex and expensive scan tools. There are also testers like this one, designed specifically to test O2 sensors. A high-end scan tool will allow you to check the frequency of the electrical pulses, as well as how fast and wide the sensor sweeps from lean to rich. But here's a very important point. The engine must be operating properly before you can get an accurate test of the O2 sensors. These tests are based on the supply of the proper exhaust feed gases. So if you're feeding the sensors bad feed gases, you're not going to get an accurate result. So garbage in, garbage out. That's right, Deneen. Thanks, Patty. Be sure to join us for our next program covering step seven of emissions diagnostics, checking the cooling system. We'll see you next time.